So <laughs> Kathy's going to interview Corbin. And uh, just when she's about to start, she goes, eh, hold on a second, we got to go to the ring for something. And Corbin's no, she, like, she goes, what? He goes, he goes, we got something important going on. Basically saying that Corbin is completely not important. Yeah, but which... you know what? You know what? For one of the first times in wrestling history, a guy was being interviewed, but the interview got interrupted. And they, they went back to him later. They did go. They did They're like, man, him... we're sorry about that. Let's, let's do the interview. And yeah. he actually got to do his interview, as we'll get yeah. to. But Sammy's in the ring. And he grabs the mic, and he says, you know, I uh, don't want to hold up the show, but I came here to say something to somebody that I might not be able to talk to next week. So, Cody Rhodes, get out here. And Cody comes out, and both of these guys got a huge baby face. I, I Well, this was not a great crowd, but for the crowd that they had, they got a big baby face reaction. No, this crowd was great for interviews. They just were not great they for matches. They did not matches. care about these matches at they, all. They were not. They were not great for the matches. But they were. Um, they were big for Becky Lynch's interview. Um, Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley. That stuff was over. Yeah. The segment was over. You know. I mean, they were. They were there. They were there for WrestleMania talking angles. They were not there to watch wrestling matches. So they or, cheered both guys, and uh, and Sammy says, "Listen, you said last week that you believed." that I could beat Roman Reigns. And I want to know if you just said that or if you actually believe it. And so Cody essentially says, listen, I, he, meant, I meant what I said. He did He did the freaking Sting and Darby Allen interview. I believe that you can be my opponent at WrestleMania. The fans are chanting, this is awesome. And then Cody says, you know what? It's not about what I think. It's about what you think. Do you think that you can beat Roman Reigns? And they did the Olay song and then... Sammy said, you know what? I have been around Roman Reigns. I have been around the bloodline. I've been through all of this. I've seen guys bigger than me. I've seen guys stronger than me. Everybody has gone up against Roman Reigns, and they've all failed. This guy talks about God mode. He's every bit as good as he says he is. I know I'm capable of beating him. I know I'm capable of main eventing WrestleMania. And if I didn't believe it, nobody else would. But... I still don't know if I can actually be the guy to beat Roman Reigns. So the crowd chants, you can do it. And then Cody says, you know, you got a crowd here that believes in you. The crowd in Montreal is going to believe in you. There's dissension in the bloodline. It's because of you. This awesome moment in time is because of you. And you can say whatever you want about Roman, but he's just a man. You can crack him in Montreal. And everyone told me to finish off my story at the Royal Rumble. You need to finish off your story at WrestleMania. And uh, I don't want to see you at Raw next week. I want to see you at WrestleMania. And everybody goes nuts and they go cheering and it's an awesome segment. It's a great segment. And it did raise a lot of questions about what you do in Montreal. Because they, they had a plan not, for a long time. They should not be They should and not. And unlike Sammy. Vince, they haven't been changing a lot of plans, so... No, they haven't been. They they have not been changing almost everything that I've heard. Um, just in fact, everything that I've heard m months back. There have been there have been changes from months back, but but I would say from a month back, everything happened exactly the same. Unlike last year at WrestleMania, where every single week there was something tweaked in some way. You know, I mean, not big changes, but there was tweaked stuff. And uh, now there hasn't been. So it'll be. They should not beat Sami Zayn. If they you're, you're following the ratings, um, the ratings tell you, you know that that you know when people st talk about like, oh, why do you listen to the ratings and everything like that? It's because if you don't, they beat Sami Zayn in Montreal, and if you do, you go like, we really shouldn't cut this guy off. This would, this is not the time, especially in his hometown. Um, and it's not Vince where the idea, where the whole gimmick is. You know, it's so funny that with Vince, that they, Vince, Vince um, created, um, I would say, a a, 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 a a group of writers who do not understand. Because, like, when Tony would always have the, the, the local guy win, I know, like, some of those writers are like, but don't, it doesn't he, does, Tony doesn't even know that you, you always beat the guy in his hometown for heat. And it's like... You know, you know what I mean? It's like they were taught that, like, there's only one way to do it, even though, you know, it's just Vince is weird. You know, I, I wouldn't say weirdness, but it's it's just how Vince does it. There's more than one way to do this business. There's probably 50 correct ways 
but because people have only watched one company, so many people have only watched one company and one guy's vision, they think that all these other ways that are also correct are incorrect because Vince never did them. And um, that was one of the ones as far as, you know, like uh, beating people in their hometown. I mean, I could tell you here, Bailey could have been a big, big, big star out here. And they, you know, when they beat her here, like they, and she was over big here too. Um, they flattened her out here, like, uh, and, and she could have been like a, like someone every time they came here, she could have been like a big, you know, a big draw here. And uh, they had to beat her, you know, and they had a humiliator here. And, uh, you know, and, and there's examples of that, you know, in, in every city, you know, like, like Jim Ross used to dread Tulsa and Oklahoma City TV tapings because he knew that day when he comes to the building that it's going to be a bad day for him because he's going to be humiliated in front of the Oklahoma fans. You know, and, and granted, Jim Ross was a different situation because Vince loved to humiliate him. But but still, you know, it doesn't matter who you are when they're in the, when they were in your hometown. For the most part, it's, it, you know, Lawler being the exception, they, um, the, you know, Vince's M.O. That's what he taught. It's like you 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 always beat people in their hometown. Or, or humiliate them or, or have them sell or whatever the story is. You, it may be that I'm going to be doing Elimination Chamber and you're doing uh, Battle in the Valley. That may be what happens. I'll probably, I mean, I could come back and I'm sure I could at least watch like the last match or two. Because really. You should watch the main event for sure. The, I mean, the main, the main event's a big story. You know, and as far as the undercard goes, um, I mean, it is two chamber matches. But still, it's, it's like, I mean, as far as the focus and everything like this. No matter what they have on the undercard, this Montreal thing is all about Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn. That's going to be where, you know, the rest are going to be matches, but that's going to be like, you know, absolutely super atmosphere, you know, very unique. I think that's going to be very, very memorable. <laughs> It'll be memorable. It's going to be know? memorable one it's way or the other. Memorable no he's either going to win and it's going to be memorable or he's going to lose and it's going to be gonna memorable. Be, and it's going to be memorable because we're going to be going for like five years and going like, oh, my God, how did they miss on this one, you know, but. Well, we'll, we'll see, see what they do. It hasn't happened yet. No, no. Look the, now the. Like, I I will say that when it comes to when it comes to booking, I mean, Paul Levesque doesn't miss stuff like Vince. You know, he doesn't. He's done a good job. So, um, I I I expect. I don't expect Sami Zayn to lose, even though I would have said differently a week ago. But I do expect him to lose. Oh man, that's I think bad they're going to do it because you know what? He hasn't changed plans. He hasn't changed plans, and this has been a plan. Okay. And they have a WrestleMania plan, and you know, sometimes listen, here's what some, I'll say about sometimes. Triple H. Sometimes you have to change plans. Sometimes you do, but you know what? This guy is—he's uh, not a dummy. Absolutely and, not. Uh, so Absolutely there's, not. there's. I mean, he may look like a dummy. That's possible after Saturday, but. There's no way. There's He's not here's a the thing. Here's the thing. He's not a here's the thing, Dave. Here's the difference. Okay. Yes. Vince would book a Money in the Bank ladder match, and the day of the show, he would decide some gonna, bloke was going to win. And had no idea what he's going to do. No plan. Okay. No idea what he was going to do next. Now, this Sami Zayn thing. It's not like it just got hot. It's been hot for a long time. But and really... this Montreal thing had been the plan. So my point is merely, okay, that there's no way that he's going into Saturday going, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not sure how we're going to get out of this. Whatever he had planned, oh, well, well, you know, he, he has we, got an idea we, for we, Saturday. Okay, we know the what The question is if he sticks to it or not. Yeah, we know what the plan was. The question is, is that... Does this string of big ratings on fr on Friday night, you know, um, change the plan? And does the fact that all of a sudden attendances are up, and you know the the key guys are Sami Zayn and and Cody Rhodes on Raw, but you're you know and merchandise sales are up, and you've got hot baby faces, which. You know, they do have trouble making baby Everyone does. They have trouble making top baby faces. And now they've got two. And do you, do you want to tell the audience that you falsely invested your time with one of them? And Well, what they have to do, as I've said, like forever, 
is is they have to make you want. If if he's not winning, if he's not beating Roman Reigns for the title, whatever they're whatever they're going to do, they have to make these fans badly want Sammy and Kevin to beat the Usos. They have to. If they can do that, step, it's, it's going to be all right. It's a, it's a step if, down. If they, it, well, you know what? They got to try to make these fans believe it's not a step down. It's like step Roman down. and Roman and Cody on Saturday, and Kevin Owens and uh, Sami Zayn closing the show Sunday night. They got to do something. They're not to no, make Roman, these fans Ro, Roman, think the, the Cody Rhodes match is closing Sunday night. Well, we're going to see what they're going to do because yeah. you know sometimes sometimes you do have to change plans. Not sometimes, all plans, but some plans. You know, sometimes, sometimes people get hot. You that's, know, if they, that's right. And you know if what? They, if they had that mentality about Steve Austin, you know, they would have. Uh, you know, you know what I mean? They never would have. W. I'm not gonna say WCW won because I think they still would have self destructed. But, but uh, it would have been um, a longer period before. Uh, you know, it would have been. It, it would have changed the history of wrestling in some way. You take Steve Austin out, I mean, I, I don't know. I think everything changes a lot if you don't go with Steve Austin. Now, granted, they're not in that position right now. I mean, they can – look, they can they can do whatever they want to do, and they're still going to be strong. And right now, the, the fans are very, very invested in their product right now. So, um, you know, I mean, everything's, everything's good. And as far as, like, if Cody Rhodes beats Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes is going to be a big, big, big star. And, and and everything like that. And plus, you know, Cody's running around doing all of his media and he's really good at that. So I mean they've got that's the one thing is they've got they've got the guy that they it's what they want. They want the good looking guy in the suit who speaks well and, and everything like that to go around like a John Cena. You know, they don't they don't necessarily want a Sami Zayn uh to be in that position. Um you know, it's you know, uh, and even if even if they give the title to Sami Zayn, the reality is, well, I shouldn't say because again, this is not Vince. If it was Vince and he saw this reaction and he just goes, "Ah, oh, we got to give him it." I mean, it's like he's already planning to beat him in eight seconds, you know, in SummerSlam, you know, because that's what Vince did with with Danielson. He was, was what he was going to do, but Danielson got hurt first. With Kofi, that's what he did. You know, it's like, you know, Zayn goes in there and it's like, you know, freaking Roman or. Brock Lesnar or Bobby Lashley, they're just going to kill this guy at SummerSlam, you know, if he gets over. So that that's where we're probably different because I, I don't I don't know that that Levesque will do it that way. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair. Who? No, Ric Flair. Who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's not how not my jokes work. <laughs> we Bailey? What does that mean? She's small. It's <laughs> we barely made it home. Oh, we <laughs> <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a dude doodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. What? See, what? These, these, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.